Ever write a check to a favorite candidate? Ever wonder where that money went? To pay for rallies or TV commercials or legal fees? It's happening in the mid-state and it is legal. Our Sarah Wilson's been looking into it, joins us with the story. Sarah? Dennis, and it is happening in what will be one of the most watched races in the country this year. Congressman Scott Perry is using tens of thousands of donor dollars to foot his legal bills. And Dennis, as you said, it is certainly legal, but why? As Congressman Scott Perry runs his reelection campaign, he's also fighting the federal government in court and using campaign donations to pay for it. This is a weaponized Department of Justice and judicial system that uses all the tactics at its avail against its opponents, and I'm one of its opponents. Campaign finance reports show Perry's paid almost $300,000 to two law firms, one in Georgia and one in D.C. That's about 13% of his total donations. There's been nothing hidden. Everything's been reported. Also reported, a federal investigation into Perry's role, if any, in the January 6th attack on the Capitol and the seizing of his cell phone, emails, and texts, including some about possible efforts to overturn the 2020 election. I think people in central Pennsylvania, they know me, they understand what's happening here. The Republican defending the use of donor dollars to defend himself in court, insisting it's not a big deal. They want to help. They don't agree with what's happened to me and they don't want it happening to them. But did those donors agree to have their dollars diverted to lawyers? It is legal under certain circumstances. Including Perry's. He can use what he raises, says the Federal Election Commission, with rare exceptions. If you try to pay uh, for divorce expenses or if you commit a crime outside the ambit of your, your office, you can't use your campaign expenses to, to pay for the legal fees in those instances. And Congressman Perry is not the only politician to do this. Former President Trump is as well, most recently with his hush money trial. Alicia. Sarah, thank you very much.